On this video, we're going to be sampling a variety of street food. Kyoto is famous for their food, including their street food. We cannot wait to try them out with you guys. This video is sponsored by Boksu. More on them later. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since we've been in Kyoto, so so happy to be back here. One of our favorite cities in Japan. Many things have changed since COVID. A lot of shops closed, new shops opened in their place. So we're here to check out some of those new places that we haven't been to before. First area we're gonna be exploring is the Kiyomizudera area. So first place we came to is Tsuriya Chose Sanrenzaka Branch Smoothie Ice Monaka. Monaka is Japanese wafers and it's a sandwich with ice cream and dango. So this is mitarashi. You know mitarashi dango, soy sauce based sauce on top of dango and ice cream and some anare on top. Itadakimasu. The sound of saksaku is very comfortable. Inside this ice is blended with the mitarashi soy sauce. It's savory but sweet sauce. It's nice with this ice cream. Of course, it matches with dango. So this is the matcha one. Once again, this one has three pieces of dango mochi, and that's the ice cream, the arare on top, and of course, this wafer, which are made by pounding rice. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh wow. First of all, the ice cream is super refreshing. It's milky, but it's not overly rich. So it's perfect for this hot summer. Look at all that matcha sauce inside. Super nice matcha flavor, perfectly sweetened. And the mochi, of course, is squishy and bouncy. This is isobe, isobe yaki. It's a grilled with soy sauce dango with nori. Mm. Mm. The nori seaweed gives me oceanic flavor. It's very good. This ice cream is very smooth. This one is actually a little bit savory. So it's like savory and sweet. There's also some sancho pepper flavor that's like sprinkled on the dango itself. And the soy sauce, once again, that adds that savory component to this. And this one is probably my favorite. So we came to Kumonocha, located Sanrenzaka near Kiyomizera. We ordered Aoi Kumo Mousse set. It comes with cloud style, blue, very beautiful mousse sweets and lychee soda. Mm. Oh, sweet lychee flavor came. Mm. So refreshing. So take some. Ooh, what's inside? It's another cream. It's like a purple color. And the center part is yellow something. A little bit like white chocolate flavor and blueberry combined with white chocolate taste. Mmm, very good. Mmm, whoa. Very, very light, delicate, not so sweet. You can definitely taste the blueberry. Oh, very refreshing as well. Every time I come to Kyoto, I have to get matcha because you know Kyoto is famous for their matcha. This one is their premium matcha drink. This is unsweetened. You can also get a sweetened. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is good. And by the way, guys, this shop is so beautiful. Uh, right now, we're sitting in the inner garden area, and there's um, these lanterns and uh, the chojin uh, on the top, and, and it's just very, very pleasant to be sitting here in the inner garden of the shop. Really nice place. So there are a lot of these hills going up towards Kiyomizu Dera in this area. Every hill that you see here is filled with shops um, in these really old shop houses. So it has a really beautiful atmosphere. Of course, you have to visit the temple, but the area around the temple, walking around this area is probably one of my favorite things to do in Kyoto. Right next door to where we were, we're at Itoken Soso, and these things caught our eye. Uh, this is Wagashi on skewers. They are so photogenic. Look at that, it's like perfect for Instagram. Yeah, they have two types. This is the first one, and this one has this orange, I think it's like mochi thing. There's like this yellow jelly, that's a dango, and that's one that looks like a chestnut. Mm. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. 
it's actually very soft. It's kind of like mochi, but not as squishy or chewy. Yeah, this is like the namagashi, the Japanese uh, very traditional wagashi that you eat with green tea. Let's try the yellow part. Mmm, that's like a gelatin, like an agar dessert. It's a little bit lemony in flavor. Mmm, that's like a slightly sweetened um, dango, like a rice bar. Mmm. And that's basically like a ball of anko, sweet azuki bean paste. A little bit chestnut flavor as well. This is a great way to enjoy wagashi. Mine is green one. The matcha jelly one and pink one and castera type one. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. The smooth but little bit squishy type of matcha flavor. Confectionery. Hmm, hmm. It's refreshing. Oh, yuzu flavor, yuzu flavor jelly. Hmm, I like this one. What is this? But the texture is the same as the first green one. It's squishy, a little bit bouncy. Mmm, mmm. I like this castella type one. It's like a, oh, kinako flavor. Mmm, this is good, this is good. Mm. So next shop is Kirakuan. We found this gigantic karaage stick. This one is Kyoto style dashi flavor karaage. Kyoto dashi is very special. This one has uh, five pieces. You can also get eight pieces of Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Hello. This is so good. For first, the outside, very crispy. Saku saku, kari kari. And it's freshly deep fried. It's still hot. And that chicken meat is very tender and juicy. Well seasoned with salt and yes, dashi flavor. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. The outside is so crispy and it's deep fried, but it's actually quite light. It is so flavorful. The dashi, the Kyoto style dashi, permeates through the entire chicken meat. <laughs> This is from a shop called Okutan and they are famous for their tofu manju. Although we did not get that, we got something called tofu balls. And these come with a Kyoto style dashi and some green onions on the top. And they look like little takoyaki balls. Mm. Wow. Okay, that is surprising. The texture is like smooshy, kind of like sticky has a little bit of like a mochi texture as well they are deep fried and the batter is made with tofu and mochi flour and the dashi has so much umami this is a really nice light savory snack mm. but texture is totally different squishy tofu it's pretty interesting Flavor. I love this flavor, deep fried flavor with dashi. So comfortable. Mm. Alright guys, we're gonna say goodbye to this area for now. We're gonna walk towards the center of the city or, or the commercial center of the city because they do have some more street food over there that we'd like to try. Before we continue, please let me tell you about our friends at Boksu. They are a subscription service that delivers authentic and premium Japanese snacks straight from Japan to your doorstep. We've been working with them over the years and we think they are the best in the industry. First time customers will receive the Seasons of Japan box giving you a taste of what's to come throughout the year. Every month they have a special theme. This month they are celebrating the Japanese tea ceremony. They've included 15 different snacks plus one very special tea. You get a good balance of savory and sweet snacks from 9 different prefectures. I'm so glad they included okoshi this month. It's a snack with a history of more than 1,000 years. I also enjoyed the Kyoto Matcha Waffle Sandwich and the Caramel Almond Okaki. Satoshi's favorites with the Star of Niigata Rice Crackers, the Black Sesame Roll Cake, and the Chestnut Chocolates. The guys at Boksu really work hard to curate these snacks. They even work with local companies so they can offer you snacks that are exclusive to Boksu. So guys, get started on your own Japanese snack journey today. All you have to do is click on the link in the description, use our code to get 15 off your first purchase. 
All right, guys, we have come to the Gion district of Kyoto and we found this place called Kyokurara. They specialize in namafu. It's a wheat gluten and it's a specialty of Kyoto. And we got three different types here. They actually have about a couple of dozen varieties of namafu, which is very, very rare. So we got two savory, we got one sweet. I'm gonna go for this one right here. This is wasabi and nori. Mmm, mm. as you can see, it's pretty chewy. It's like mochi but not as sticky. You can definitely taste the flavor of the wasabi, but it's not spicy, so don't worry. The nori gives it a really nice ocean flavor. I like it. It's really simple, savory, and perfect. Around the namafu, it's arare, bubu arare. It's a rice cracker. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. I love this squishy texture of namafu. Flavor of shiso. Perilla leaves, RB flavor, Japanese RB flavor. The rice cracker is very sakusakuto, crunchy. And then we have to get a sweet one. This is Amao Ichigo. Amao strawberries are from Hakata, Fukuoka, and there is some arare on the top as well. Mm -hmm. The thing on the top is not rice crackers, it's actually like candy. It's like light, crispy candy. Oh, and that Amao strawberry flavor is so nice. It's a little bit tart but sweet. Oh, that is delicious. That is delicious. We found a very beautiful popsicles. This is named Puffet Bar from Ito Kyuemon. Ito Kyuemon is a very popular tea shop. Mine is named Tropical Mango Pineapple Raspberry Chocolate Hoiped cream. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Chocolate, white chocolate. I think it's flavor of banana. It's very crunchy, pari parito. And the green part, I think it is matcha. I can enjoy this popsicle with eyes and my tongue. I got the matcha ice cream bar. Uh, these are ice cream bar versions of the ice cream parfaits that you can enjoy inside their shop. This has anko, tangerine, whipped cream, dango, the matcha bar. Mmm, mm hmm That's good matcha ice cream on the inside. It's cold and refreshing, especially on a hot day like today. You got a little chocolate medallion here. When people ask me what reminds me of Kyoto, it's all about the parfaits, these beautiful, gorgeous Kyoto parfaits. And although they have five different flavors, you guys know I always have to go with matcha. Alright guys, so we find ourselves back at Nishiki Market. This is called the Kitchen of Kyoto. You can find lots of food shops here, including lots of street food. This is from a Snoopy theme shop called Snoopy Chaya and they sell these Snoopy Yaki. <laughs> these are adorable. Kind of wearing of Justin. Um, this one comes with a feeling of Anko. You can also get one with custard. But I was really in the mood for some Anko, which is sweetened azuki bean paste. Mmm. Mmm. The outside, the batter part is like really, really fluffy. It's like a fluffy pancake. A little bit crispy on the outside. Inside is the bumpy style anko, but it is smooth and creamy and really, really delicious. Mm. The next shot that caught my eye is lots of, lots of tempura, shrimp, hamo, and the popular Kyoto fish. So we couldn't resist it. Shop name is Yataimura Nishiki. So we bought two things. This is shrimp, very big shrimp tempura, and this is dashimaki tamago tempura. And before eating tempura, I need beer. This is premium molds. Itadakimasu. Cheers. Mm. Beer is always welcome. I want to eat tempura of egg omelet. Mm. Mm. You already hear the sound. The outside butter is very sakusakuto. Mm. Inside, it's smooth, smooth egg omelet. The butter is contains oil because it is deep fried. So the oil enhances the umami of dashi. Mm. Mm. And I could not resist the shrimp tempura. Itadakimasu. Mm. 
Oh my god, it's so piping hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is super crispy. On the outside, very hot on the inside. But the shrimp is pretty big, it's plump and juicy. I sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. You can also put some tempura sauce on it, but I do recommend it with the salt. That way you can really enjoy the flavor of the shrimp. So the first floor is very, very crowded. Second floor is quieter than the first floor. If you cannot get the seat at the first floor, please come to the second floor. Next thing we bought is mitarashi dango. But this mitarashi dango is very special. We bought at the Kamukura ramen shop in Gion area. Yeah, which is kind of weird because Kamukura ramen is a ramen shop. Yeah. <laughs> but they're selling this mitarashi dango. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit different though, the way they serve it. They serve it in these like cups, like these mm -hmm. cones. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Yeah, and then they are actually quite heavy. They're yes. bigger than usual. Yes, it's just grilled in front of us. Yes, yes, so it's piping hot. Yes. Mmm. Grilled mm. <laughs> taste. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. Grilled taste. Mm. I do recommend not putting the whole ball into your mouth is quite big. I almost kind of choked down my mochi <laughs> right now. Um, I almost choked down the mochi. So I, 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 I mean, these are quite big and these are chewy mochi. So please be careful. You have to chew mochi really well. <laughs> but this sauce, mm. it's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's also not overly salty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mild. Everybody can eat this it's sauce, delicious. I think. Mm -hmm. This time, we found many new things. Yes, we did. And uh, everything we tried was delicious. Mm. But I do have some things that stood out for me. My favorites were the hu, the, the, on the stick, the wheat gluten fu. Those were really, really delicious. And I know this might sound boring, but the karaage was so ah. good. Oh my gosh. It was one of the best karaage I've had. How about you? Same opinion. Yeah, the fu was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's <laughs> before I ate, I was thinking it's just food, but it's not. It's not just food. <laughs> I know we have had food before, but not this good. It was mm. so good. So with that said, thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Let us know which ones appeal to you the most, which ones look the most delicious to you. Let us know in the comments. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. See you on next Citations video. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.